guys, how's everyone doing today? Boys are out this morning, we're going to go get our hairs cut because they're getting very long. Is your hair long, Seth? Whee! Is your hair long? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ruben Elijah's is too, so I'm going to pop get them cut. <laughs> and there's mostly sorting today and getting ready to go away for tomorrow. Uh, get the bike sorted, uh, bump up the tyres and load the van in the car. Good morning, good morning. I just need to fall over. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Sunday. The what's the date, Grace? It's the, the day before holiday. 27th, I want to say. Correct me if I'm wrong. The 27th, yay! Of vlog. Huba. No, yeah, Vlogmas. No, Vlogust. Vlogust. Oh my goodness. Vlogist. I'm going mad. Oh, uh, Adam's Vlogist. took the boys to have their hair cut and he's just sent me a picture. Let me see if I can get it off. Oh, oh it's that. Uh, no, it's not. It's just a picture. Let me show you. <laughs> all of them at the same time. Uh, all three boys are having their hair cut at exactly the same time. Oh. It's just too cute. So it's just us girlies in the house at the moment and that has got to be sorted and packed uh -huh. into a suitcase. Uh -huh. Your pack my battery died. So as I was saying we've got I don't actually know what I was saying last, but we've got lots to pack and get ready and that's what Grace has packed. And yeah, we're all looking a little bit like hobos today. I don't even know what a hobo is, I might have to Google it. It's just something that I've heard people say. Pretty Seth has gone out and left his iPad running. Hmm, little menaces. And here's Ruben's. Oh, I wanted to show you. Ruben's new backpack for school. It's cool, isn't it? He chose it himself. I'm really pleased with it, actually. Very chuffed that he chose that one because it's a nice one. Grace has got a super dry one, which I think I might have shown you. I'm not sure. I'll show you another time when we're getting ready. So, but yeah. It's all go today. It's all go, go, go. These two haven't got a clue what's going on, but I keep reassuring them. I wish I could ask them how excited they are for holiday if they understood that they were going on holiday. Do you understand you're going on holiday? Do you know that you're going to the beach? We, when Adam was in London buying the um, PB Supply merch, we got Grace a t shirt because although she doesn't watch them all the time, she does like them and she knows who they are. So we're going to give it to her now because she's got no idea. Grace, come here a second. I know, about what? Me? For you. Really? Yeah. Do you want it? Yeah. What'd you say to Daddy? You're welcome. I waited five hours for that. No, you didn't. Well, about an hour and a half. <laughs> Do you like it? You know where it's holiday. Oh. We're off on our little errands before holiday. We are going to next because. What if I drop the camera at the window? <laughs> Anyway, we're off to next to get um, pick up parcel for all the clothes we've ordered. For Adam, even though he's been a div, I don't think he deserves them. I hope he does. Um, and I might see if I can get Grace some pumps. Because her feet have grown overnight. Uh, what? 23 degrees. No, it's really hot. It's really, really nice. I'm excited. I'm going to the beach. You up? We're going to beach tomorrow. So we'll see. Anyway, we might go early tomorrow because Bank College Monday is meant to be really nice, and we'll see if we can have one day on the beach because I think the forecast for the rest of the week is cool. Yes, don't forget to pack the buckets, Daddy. Okay. And the spades that break. Okay. We may need to buy new spades. Yeah, we, uh, we said that we'll be um, on the beach. You know, woolly jumpers, but we'll still be on the beach, won't we? Yeah. Yeah, that's what matters. Can we buy this? Oh, don't you just love on the one of the hottest days of the year? Is it one of the hottest days of the year? Right, it's really it's sunny. Warm. It's one of the hottest days of August. Being stuck in traffic 
we've come like a back way. We've come from Selly Oak to Merry Hill and we're just stuck in this with roadworks. Like it's so bad. It's so nice. It is so, so sunny. Yeah, I love traffic. I'm melting. The weather's oh, nice. the weather. I thought we still talked about traffic. No, I skipped to another conversation. <laughs> Keep on. Yes, you do. What is gorgeous in the traffic? Hello, Mr. Sunshine. How can cars cool driving? How can cars cool driving? So, Mummy's got the kids there lunch, nice and healthy. Mm. There you go. Yeah. What's that one? Chocolate concrete? Yeah. And what have you got? Rocky Road? No. No? I've got a fudge cake. Fudge cake? Yeah. Mm. I don't know what I want. You have chocolate concrete Thank too? You. What? If you want. Uh, we have lots. We have lots of desserts. Jodie's just gone to get mine and hers, so we're going to have a burrito. And then we'll have a little bit of dessert too. Mm. Jodie's back with the good food now, so we've got a nice chicken. Chicken, is it? Yeah. Chicken burrito. These are very nice. We've had them before from here. Very tasty. I've got a halloumi one. Halloumi. Exactly the same, but halloumi. They're so good. Alright, uh, tuck in before it gets cold. I got me and Adam a Oreo cheesecake. Oh, how good does that look? And Adam got a upside down Ferrero Rocher cheesecake. Just turn the pot. And that looks good. A whole Ferrero Rocher, huh? See, it tastes good. My burrito was amazing. Oh, very nice. I don't think I've got room for this. There's a new dessert place. Though. Well, I don't know how new it is, but the dessert little shop. Oh, we've just been in Boots, did my shop, had them walked off with the basket, and then she gets this house, she's like £21, and then she went, Oh no, sorry, I haven't totaled it. £73. I was proper baffled I was because I thought only I was shopping. No, Adam had slipped some razor blades in there. £21 for razor blades. That's ridiculous. I need it to shave. That's really expensive though, that is. No, but I don't buy them as often no, I know. as I could do with buying them. They're really blunt and they're really tough. I know, but that's not £21 for razor blades. Oh, it's empty. We're back home now. Oh, it is scorchier. I had to get changed into a um, flamingo play suit. <laughs> As Adam nice. just said, nice play suit. He's just seen me for the first time. It's been outside, haven't you? What had the dogs done? Pull the fence panel apart, hence the gardens over the rear. Uh, I had to pull that out and put a new panel in. Oh, she looks like butter wouldn't melt, look. Um, are you sure it was our dogs that did that? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it was our dogs. Oh dear. She's wagging her tail because she knows I'm talking about her. You're a bad dog. Um. So we've got a lot to do. <laughs> Too hot. I know, it's uh, how hot is it just all of a sudden? Oh, Ooh, not that we're moaning. So, oh, I've just brought, I've cheated for dinner. I brought a cooked chicken. So I haven't got to cook it. Oh, oh for job. Now, oh, where has the day gone? It's gone. It's disappeared. It's puffed, hasn't it? We've got slave labour going on here. Grace did dinner. Okay, excellent. So, we're just having some chicken and sweet corn and coleslaw and crusty bread. Adam is just sorting his van out so he can get the bikes and stuff in. And I have been packing and that's about it adam's mum and dad came down to visit us because obviously we're going on holiday and they were going to say the kids and say hi and stuff like that so we're gonna have a little bit of dinner and then i'm going to show you what we brought because today we shopped quite a bit so do any of you have a system for packing because my system isn't really the best system i don't think but what i do is i place all the clothes out on the bed so grace's pile reuben's pile elijah's pile seth's pile and then i'll do mine and adam's after so that i can look to see what they've got and then just go over it to make sure they've got enough tops enough trousers and enough like day wear evening wear swimwear 
wear, 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 wear. And then because we'll be travelling in the morning, I place all their travel clothes out on the banister ready. So that I know I've got everything. I have no idea if that's the best way to pack or not. I'm presuming a lot of people do things like place it out first before packing. But because there's so many of us, it's a lot of clothes. Okay, I've got you on a swivel chair now. So I'm just going to show you what I've got from next. It's a bit of a haul, but it's not a haul. So Adam's standing in the doorway. This is the first time he's seen it as well. Say hi, Adam. Hi, Adam. <laughs> he's sorting all the bikes and stuff out, but you can't find your pump, can you? No. He's lost his pump. Right then, Grace, so black boots, because these are really, really pretty, and I just thought of an evening, and it's got like a detail here. Um, I just thought of an evening, she hasn't really got anything to wear. Do you like them, Adam? Yeah, very nice. And then when we was walking around Alton Towers, she was complaining that her shoes were rubbing and she's got size 13 trainers and um, they were a bit tight on her. So we've got her some new pumps. Do you like these, Adam? Yeah, very nice. Do you want to... <laughs> he's being silly. He is. So he's not even looking at what I'm showing him. I got myself some. I don't know. Do you know what? I kind of feel like these are loungewear, but I'm not 100% no. sure. No, um, well, they're not. They weren't with the loungewear. They're basically just black. I wanted some black leggings, but these are like those black floaty, I call them clown trousers, so they're tight at the bottom and then really baggy in the middle, like by your bum. And I just thought, do you know what? They're going to be so comfy to travel up in to drive because it's a long old drive up to North Wales from where we are. It's like it's three hours if not longer than that, dependent on how traffic and if we stop. So I got myself those. Let me just tell you the prices. Grace's boots were £37. Grace's pumps were £20. These were £20 as well. Uh, I could put those in my um, travel pile that I'm going up in. I did get myself some leggings. These were £12, I believe. And they're not your normal leggings. They're really thick, so you're never going to see through them. And they've got, like, a pleat down the front. So they're just a bit fancier for an evening if I want to wear a long T-shirt or anything over them because <clears throat> I don't always want to wear jeans. Jeans are not always that comfortable. Reuben didn't really need new T-shirts, but I was buying everybody else T-shirts and felt slack not getting him any because... I'm a bit like that. So three pack of t-shirts from next, or this is from next. Sixteen pound. Uh, boys like uh, stripey, stripey, stripey. Big stripes, little stripes. Cardboard box. Plain blue. <laughs> Big stripes. So that's Ruben. Done. He does not need any more new clothes at all. Grace needed shorts, although we have just found a few more shorts under her bed nine pound these were lovely flowery floaty shorts nice and cool to go with the cool weather that we'll be experiencing once <laughs> they got grace some black leggings as well but these have got like a groovy pattern at the bottom like a crisscross laces at the bottom but i just thought again of an evening instead of we're always wearing jeans or anything like that i was going to get her some denim um ripped jeans but then i thought She's going to be more comfortable in leggings. The same as me. The same as me. Then I got the boys exactly the same. Oh, Grace's leggings were £10. Uh, these were £11 for a pack of four T-shirts. And you can't complain because next T-shirts wash so, so well. So the boys have all got a nice pink. The little boys have got a pink, a white, a blue, and then a dark blue one. And they've got exactly the same because I like to twin them off. What size shoe are you? Ten. What size shoe are you really? Eleven. I got you eleven and a half. <laughs> Elevens weren't in stock and I knew we wasn't thought, a twelve. I thought some extra big Yeah. Uh, just so for an evening if you have some nice white shoes to go out in. Well you've got to keep them clean for very long. The boys have all got a white pair of shoes so I'm trying to twin them off with the boys. What do you think? Yeah, nice. They're nice. Obviously you've got to try man. they might not fit you, they might be tight, well you're a bit funny with your feet though aren't you, so, <sighs> sarcasm, I don't know if you can hear him being sarcastic or not, 
I got myself a swimming costume, which was £32. I don't know how much your shoes was. £35 your shoes was. Got myself a new swimming costume, which I can't really figure out. It's a flowery one. And it crissy crosses at the back. I just thought, you know what, it's quite pretty actually. And I just needed a new one. Although, it feels really big. <laughs> Not really big my size let's hope you don't fall out of it put it that way so i got that and then i got this was 30 pounds what could it be what could it be i know what it is got myself a jumpsuit so it's a boob tube jumpsuit with this pattern and it's nice and long but it's like uh, the top is got a flappy bit and it's got pom-poms on it so this one again a nice long black one and it's got some like see-through bit there and spaghetti straps and i just thought of an evening instead of getting like really really dressed up i thought if i whack a jumpsuit on it's gonna be more comfortable isn't it i got hit my body <laughs> snapped actually just hit myself in the head tag <laughs> so i got him this so it's nice and smart for the evening trying to go as quick as i can because i appreciate it. oh i got grace this as well it's a nice little dress do you like it it's like a spaghetti strap dress spaghetti strap for 10 pounds wow 10 pounds not excessively <laughs> This is for Adam, this was £22, oh. and it's a stripy t-shirt, and it gets darker at the bottom into grey, white grey, really like that one, I think it's really smart, I think it'll look nice in it, thank you very much Grace. I also got Adam a three pack of t-shirts, which I believe are green, white and black, and these were £16 for three, and like I said, next t-shirt, wash really well and i've just remembered that i got this i completely forgot i'm really excited about it <laughs> Will you jump it's a jumper dress and it's from it's not from next it's from their brand and it's from boohoo i got it in a medium and it was only i believe oh, yeah, that's about the price i'm pretty sure this was only 15 pounds and it's a long black jumper dress and i thought of an evening i could wear this and comes down past my like just above my knee and i thought because if it's a bit chilly I'm, i know i'm going to like that i'm going to love that quite a bit thanks and then i got adam another another white <laughs> i just got that stuck in my mouth oh my god <laughs> just a white t-shirt so that's what i got shopping world's worst haul i'm actually sat what am i sat on oh, i'm sat on gopro accessories <laughs> packing is hard i forgot how hard it was to pack we're only going for a week in a caravan oh my god it's so late now it's not that late it's nine o'clock but that's quite late for us so i'm just running a bath so i've just put some bath latte in there and i'm going to have a cheer oh hello cheer up buttercup bath bomb which is it looks like this no ah we have a wrapper i think it's got some lavender and stuff in it looks cool right i need to get that out oops So yeah, that's basically the plan. I am going to... I did change my jumpsuit, by the way, because I was uncomfortable in this one. So I'm going to um, have a bath, relax. 